Secret Invasion is an MCU streaming series where Nick Fury learns of a secret invasion of Earth by a faction of shape-shifting scrolls, and it's all finally released in full. And guys, for the last month or so, I've heard nothing but negativity about this show. Maybe that's just my feed and I'm scrolling too much, but I couldn't help but notice there's really been a lot of negativity towards the MCU recently. And so for this show, I actually decided to wait and binge the entire thing. I really do feel like the format, the week to week format for these Disney Plus shows it's just not my vibe. But like I said, I did wait and I binged all of it with perfect timing so that I could binge it all and then watch the finale as it came out. And I gotta say, from everything that I saw on Twitter, it just seems to me like people got this wrong. I mean, I even got it wrong. I didn't expect it to be that good, but it was. I loved it. And honestly, I just, I don't really know where a lot of people are coming from with the negativity towards this show specifically. So off the top, I do want to start a discussion. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments of Secret Invasion. Also hit the like button if you're an MCU fan. I certainly am. And that's why I wanted to give this show a chance, at least. I give every one of the shows a chance. And I feel like the same thing happened with this show for me that happened with Andor, the Star Wars streaming series. That show was awesome and yet for some reason it just wasn't everyone's favorite. And I really think that a slow, dark, and gritty tone is clearly just not for everyone. And now I wouldn't say that this show is operating quite at the same level as Andor, but it's definitely a top five, at least MCU series for me. And it didn't even have to be as good as it did to at least make me enjoy it coming off of shows like She-Hulk. I thought that the examination of Nick Fury was a really cool way to go. We've spent a lot of time with his character, but we haven't spent a lot of time with his character, if that makes sense. I know that the old like washed up dude coming back for one last rodeo shtick is kind of an eye roll. Like I understand that it can get old, no pun, but Come on, I mean, it's Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know. And then you're also working with Amelia Clark and Olivia Coleman and Ben Mendelsohn and Don Cheadle. Like, having all of them in this show really grounds things. This is the most that I've felt like I'm a part of the MCU world, again, in, in quite a long time. Honestly, binging it like it was one big movie was reminiscent of like Civil War or Winter Soldier. And like I said, I just, I haven't felt like that in quite a while. And it is grounded and there is some violence. There's a lot of people just like getting shot. And a lot of that is due to the villain, Gravik, played by Kingsley Ben Adir. And I didn't know anything about this guy before this show. And I thought his performance was absolute magic. He had a purpose and he was justified in what he was doing. He absolutely hated Nick Fury. And you saw that in the finale. That's what roped me in so much about his character like you could feel his emotion he was just a good villain and you know that's what your show needs that's what your movies need and I think one thing that you can say positively about phase five is that the villains have been phenomenal I think Kang was great I think the high evolutionary was great and I think that Gravik was awesome but I do want to get into the finale a little bit so if you haven't seen the finale or if you haven't seen Secret Invasion this is kind of your warning I am going to be diving into some spoilers so watch out. But Gia and Gravik get all these powers from the harvest, right? And that was something that took me a little bit to get on board with, like what they went and collected blood from like the Battle of Earth. That was a little bit strange, especially when Gia turned into Mantis for a second. I was like, but I liked the utilization of Gia in the end, how it was Nick Fury down there. You thought he was dying and then it changes to her. Turns out she got the powers and they have this big epic final fight. She kills Gravik, which I was actually a little upset about because I was hoping maybe we saw him in like another season or further down the road in the MCU. I guess we could like a variant. I don't know. But now she is moving on into the world with all these powers. And I feel like if it was anybody else, I would be like, Ugh, I don't know. This feels weird. But it's Amelia Clark. It's the mother of dragons. Like she could probably hold down an entire movie. Like I just I love her as an actress and I think she's perfect moving forward. I just don't know how they will use her. I get where Nick Fury's story is going. It sounded like the Kree and the Scrolls. They might find peace. He's going back up into space. I'm sure we're going to see him again in the Marvels. Everybody is kind of moving on. I'm sure Rhodey is going to go back to doing his thing. 
I'd imagine we're going to see him again in the future. Same with Everett Ross. But if Gia just continues to fly under the radar and we don't see her pop up again for like two phases or something, I'm going to be like, okay, this is weird because there's just this scroll girl living on Earth that has all of these powers. Like, I don't know. She's like the most powerful superhero ever now, right? It's not like anybody gave her an antidote or anything. Like she still just has all of those. I, I think. I don't remember anything like that like I think she just still has all those powers another thing that kind of I don't know just got me thinking is the president I think his name was Ritson scream six shout out by the way but the president in this Ritson I mean it seems like he's he's running the show and he just declared all-out war against the scrolls and so how does Thunderbolt Ross fit into all this with Captain America Brave New World coming out if he is the president how is he gonna handle the scroll thing is the scroll thing gonna come up at all is it gonna be a part of the Marvels. I don't know. I'm just hoping that this show, because I liked it a lot, I'm hoping that it's not just a one-off and then we don't just like sweep it under the rug and it's not talked about because I think that's where a lot of the confusion with the MCU is coming from right now. You have shows like She-Hulk that even break like the fourth wall and she's coming through and she's talking to, you know, Feige, Kevin Feige or whatnot. And like, how does that all fit in? I think that a lot of MCU fans, if you're listening to this right now, you might feel the same way where you just want some connection. Like you want some things to be resolved. I think some of my recent frustrations have stemmed with things like Shang-Chi. Like Shang-Chi, I loved that movie so much. But like when Captain America came out, like Captain America Winter Soldier came out pretty soon after. I think it was what, three years? And you're telling me that we're not going to get a Shang-Chi 2 till after Kang Dynasty? I know there have been delays, and I know now with the strike, there's going to be even more delays. And so nothing against that. It's just the amount of time that it's taking to flesh out some of these stories is, is pretty insane. And so I'm just, I'm really hoping for a nice resolve. And like I said, with Secret Invasion, it's the most comfortable, if that makes sense, that I've felt with the MCU in a little while, it almost felt like, okay, I'm back. And if the Marvels is a big success, and if it's a great movie, I think that things can get right back on track, and I'm certainly hoping that they do. But after watching Secret Invasion, it almost just feels nice to get a win. Like, this felt like a win to me. I don't know about everybody else. I truly would love to hear from you down in the comments. Even if you disagree with me, like, I would love to hear your side and just try to understand where you're coming from. Because I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter, or I saw a lot of stuff on reddit and online but a lot of this is just like a snapshot of what people mean and here on jones vibes i'm trying to really start a discussion and just talk about this because i love the mcu and a lot of my opinions come from a place of emotion just because it means so much to me and i hope kevin feige understands that <laughs> but anyways guys yeah like i said please let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment also hit the like button if you're a fan of the mcu if you're a fan of secret invasion or if you just enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate the support also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. But keep up the good vibes, guys. And that was Secret Invasion.